Um, good evening to one and all present here. So forensic facial reconstruction. So facial reconstruction is an effective forensic technique that, that, that can help to recreate a victim's facial appearance from a skull sufficiently and accurately to achieve identification. So a combination of both scientific and artistic skills can be used in the forensic investigations. So based on the relationship between the soft facial tissues and underlying hard tissue of the cranium, different procedures have been developed. So the method of facial reconstruction can be divided into 2D reconstruction and three uh, three dimensional reconstruction. So 2D reconstruction is again classified into manual sketch and computer assist sketch. And 3D reconstruction is classified into manual methods, 3D graph uh, graphics based modeling, and again, manual methods is classified into anthropometric uh, or American method and uh, anatomical method and method. And 3D uh, computer graphics based modeling is again classified into sparse approach and dense. So what is the three method or morphometric method? So morphometric is nothing but a standard measurements of tissue depth to create a facial surface contour in which facial features are produced. And then anatomical method or uh, muscle to muscle or morph morph morphoscopic method. This was developed by uh, Gerasimo uh, who developed the approach by carving the muscles, glands and cartilage layer layer by layer on this onto the skull and this technique is much much slower than the technique of the tissue depth but had a greater degree of anatomical expertise so this approach has been used to recreate even also prehistoric uh, skulls combination method or manchester method so this is a method which was developed by neve in 1977 uh, taking out into account both the thickness of the soft tissue and the facial muscles so uh, how the facial forensic reconstruction procedure requires a few basic guidelines which is the preparatory phase. So what is a pre preparatory phase is the specific skull preparation procedure should be maintained whether the reconstruction to be done in 2D or 3D. So a file should be maintained for each skull to be represented and the file should include the case number with proper certificate from legal entity from which the skull is collected from the signature and the date of the office involved. And the details of the dentition are rec recorded, which is a teeth a play an important role in estimating age and provide insight into a person's lifestyle. So proper skeletal and dental photographs with precise description should be recorded. And if, uh, if available, other accessories such as air samples, eyeglasses, dentures, jewelry, or any anti-mortem photo should also be included. So to avoid contamination, the skull should be kept in a controlled and protected environment and should be handled with gloves. So the skull stabilization is very much important and it, should, it can be achieved with a sandbag or a cork frame. Then it's a reconstruction phase. So reconstruction phase is uh, the skull must be oriented in a Frankfurt's horizontal plane, which is an anthropological standard position that closely approximates the natural position of the head in a living individual. So techniques for the anthropo, again, the techniques for the anthropometrical American method issue depth is the, uh, we should uh, uh, have a, uh, we should position the skull uh, landmarks spot by uh, in different populations. So the tissue depth are joined by the strips of clay and the thickness of the tissue depth marker is followed by position, positioning the strips of clay over on the sides of the head. So the eyes, nose, lips and ears are sculpted appropriately and texturing where the available is achieved including the few accessories such as hair, caps, eyeglasses, jewelry, etc. So techniques for anatomical method is, so the anatomical method is followed by first the mastication muscles are modeled over the skull where uh, when taking in the special note of the current bulk of the muscles. So, and the eye, the prosthetic eye, nose and everything has been, it should be uh, included. And the corners of the mouth would be the distal edge of the canine and the width of the lips will be equal to the combined uh, vertical length and enamel surface should be included. And Manchester method is a worldwide, it is it is used worldwide. So it, it uses both the morphoscopic and morphometric method. So the recent advances is uh, in digital methods. So digital method, uh, it combines the human expertise with the flexibility of 
the software. So first digital technique was developed by Moss for construction in the digital method can be of two types, which is the automated method and modeling system. So automated method, it focuses on anthropometrical data of skeletal morphology and it includes the facial templates depending upon the factors like age, sex and ethnic groups of the skull. Modeling system, so 3D modeling software uses the 3D animation software by, to model the face on the skull to appropriate the uh, manual reconstruction processes and also use the computer sculpture systems and haptic feedbacks. So recent advances in uh, uh, forensic facial reconstruction is advances in the computer software and hardware which have provided a new opportunities as it applies to almost all facial imaging methods such as core gains in fast and accurate calculation of complex algorithm algorithms for the large database under repetitive conditions and computer enabled tools such as dense quasi landmark templates which can be automatically fitted to the images of the face and it uses the iterative methods providing a powerful analytical techniques for example having facilitated the estimation of face shape from genetic sequences and have made other contribution to understanding the facial growth and dysmorphology which is also called as molecular photo fitting so these are my references so i hereby uh, concluding that uh, forensic facial reconstruction is used in is a blend of art and science that has been evolved greatly all over the years. So it is spurred by the evolution of combining academic study with the commercial inno innovation. So new and more reliable methods are constantly evolving and aided mostly by the advancements in the modern technology. Thank you.